As I'm filming this video, winter is right around the corner, so I figured it would be a great time for me to go ahead and share with you the fragrances that I'm most excited to wear this upcoming winter. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, these are the fragrances that I'm most excited to wear this winter. Unfortunately, it's been quite warm the past couple months here. We've had a couple of cold days, but I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we will actually get some more cold days now that we're actually officially heading into winter. Another thing I want to mention is that I did recently haul some fragrances and most of those were winter fragrances. So I didn't include them in this video, but just know I'm excited to wear those as well. I will link that video for you if you're interested. I know a lot of you all always say, oh, you're so lucky you live in Florida. The weather's always nice, but honestly, I long for seasons. Not that I'm trying to be dealing with snow on a regular or anything like that, but I do wish we would have some more consistent cold days. Here, it'll be like hot one day and then cold the next, which is super annoying and makes it hard. Like when it's cold, it feels extremely cold because like the day before it was 80 degrees. Anyway. <laughs> These are the fragrances that I want to wear at some point during this winter. So first uh, we'll start with my scent of the day and I figured it would be a great day for me to wear it because I'm at home and it's not cold, but it is raining all day today. It's quite gloomy looking outside and making chilly. And so like, I'm just pretending it's also cold outside. So this is Dior Privé Tobacco Lore. This is a beautiful honey tobacco scent. The honey in this smells syrupy and sweet and thick like I just picture like dripping honey when I smell this and then it's combined with this beautiful tobacco that is not too much the tobacco is definitely prominent don't get me wrong the, the name of the scent is tobacco lore but because it's combined with that very sweet honey it's just so good I love this it is kind of tooth achingly sweet even though it's not necessarily edible smelling but it is quite sweet smelling so i think that if you are a woman and you like tobacco this will probably work for you as long as you're good with sweet scents this is gorgeous y'all lasts all day like 12 hours it projects i do not spray a lot of this you see i have used it you know a lot for me <laughs> <laughs> considering that I only wear this when it's cold. I feel like I've used this a lot, but I don't have to spray a lot because if I did, it'd probably be a little bit overpowering, but I love this scent. Cannot wait to get more wear out of it in the upcoming colder days. Again, that is Dior Privé Tobacco Lore. This next fragrance is from Fragrance Dubois and this is Minoui et Demi. So this fragrance was honestly not a love at first sniff for me. I actually did a video on this fragrance when I first got it, so I will link that for you all. But I will say that although it was not a love at first sniff, it is absolutely a love for me now. So this is a beautiful mix of cardamom, caramel, and coffee. It is deep, it is spicy, it is very sensual smelling. I love this for more intimate settings. So say Netflix and chill, or even for like a dinner where you're in dark lighting and sitting close to each other, <laughs> or like a lounge. This is absolutely beautiful. There's something just very alluring about this scent. And the more I wear this, the more I love this. I do think it's more cold weather appropriate, so now is the time that I am ready to start back wearing this baby. It gets a lot of flack for poor performance, and I do talk about that in my video, but as of this point in my fragrance journey, I'm okay with the performance of this because I just use it for times where I'm not gonna be out too long, and because I love the smell of it so much, I'm okay with it sitting closer to the skin. Like, it it smells so sensual that whoever's sitting next to you, they're gonna smell it. They're gonna be all up in you, up on you. They're going to smell it. It's going to knock their socks off. So again, that is Minoui at Demi from Fragrance Dubois. This next fragrance is one that I reached for a lot last winter, but I feel like I really haven't touched it since then. So I am very excited to pull this one back out. This is Initio Side Effects. So this is sexy, 
sexy 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 this is a beautiful deep dark saffron scent to me the saffron in this is a little bit sweet but it also has this leathery touch to it without going too far into that leather category and then there's some sweetness in this fragrance that smells like either like dried fruits or like plum almost takes on a bit of a red wine smell this is absolutely gorgeous. I find this one quite addictive. It's one that once I wear it, I want to keep wearing it. I love this one for date night. To me, it just says sexy. You could wear this during the day, during the winter when it's cold, but I still think it's more of a nighttime scent just because of the vibe that it gives me. And it's just, Initio does something to their fragrances. I don't know what they do to them, but like they can do sexy fragrances. And to me, this is definitely one of those. So again, that is Initio Side Effect. This next fragrance is from Amouage and this is Material. So this one is a vanilla scent, but it's not a basic vanilla by any means. So the vanilla is there. It's not a sweet cupcakey vanilla. There is some sweetness to it, but this is more of a dry vanilla. This also has frankincense in it and it gives us this resinous quality that makes it really unique. In addition, it kind of smells like there could be a little bit of an almond note in there, but it's not an almond fragrance. But to me, the vanilla kind of smells like it has a bit of an almond to it as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a spicy, incense -y vanilla that is quite unique, but also quite likable. This is one of those Amouage fragrances that I think would appeal to a lot of people, unlike some of the other offerings from Amouage. So again, that is Amouage material. This next fragrance is one that I've been sneaking and wearing every now and again, but it's definitely a winter scent. This is Maison Margiela Replica by The Fireplace. Now this is very popular, but I still love it. So to me, this is a smoky, woody vanilla scent. If you love Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, this is the fragrance version of that. This is absolutely stunning, y'all. Stunning. There's no marshmallow in this scent, but it definitely puts you in the mind of sitting by the bonfire and making s'mores, y'all. There's no chocolate, but the marshmallows, okay? Burning the marshmallows. It is gorgeous. Now, like I said, I have been sneaking and wearing this every now and again at home just to give me that winter or fall feeling, but this one is definitely better suited for cold weather. If I wore this out in the heat, I would probably get a headache because it is sweet and it's dense and it's thick, but if it's cold, that would work out perfectly. So I'm hoping that soon we'll get a really cold day where I can actually wear this outside of my house, but just know, even if we don't, I'm gonna be wearing it in the house, okay? It's cold in my house and I just spray it lightly, but it's gorgeous. Yes, Mesa Margiela Replica by The Fireplace. The next fragrance is from Montal and this is Sweet Oriental Dream. So this is sexy baby powder is what I call it. <laughs> this is a powdery almond and honey scent. It sounds very basic, but it smells so good. There's something so comforting and cozy about this. Let me put the bottle down because the little tassel gets on my nerves like when I keep hearing it. But this is so good. It, you have to like powdery scents. If you do not, stay far away from this. But it's powder done in like the best way possible. It just makes me feel so like comforted to wear this. I definitely saved this for cold days. This could probably be nauseating in the heat, but on a nice cold day or a day where I'm just like in the house hanging out and not leaving, this is perfect. It's sexy baby powder. <laughs> Again, that is Sweet Oriental Dream from Montal. This next fragrance is from Commodity and this is Milk. So this was actually gifted to me from the brand a while ago and I absolutely love this. It is a sweet, milky marshmallow scent. It also has a little bit of woodiness to it. So it's not so fluffy and girly because of that woodiness. I actually think that a man could wear this if he's into sweet scents. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning, like grown up marshmallow milky scent beautiful. <laughs> Perfect for cold weather, but I do wear this to bed sometimes now, honestly, but I cannot wait to like wear this out of the house on a cold day. I didn't have it last winter, so I've never actually worn it outside of the house on a cold day, but I cannot wait. Like I will overspray this and get my whole life one day when it's cold. So <laughs> again, that is commodity milk. This next fragrance is from Zerjoff and this is Ivory Root. Now this one is part of the Join the Club collection from Zerjoff, which means that the notes 
are not released. They're not made public. So I will be listing some notes from Fragrantica, but just know that Zerjoff has not released the notes on these. So take the notes with a grain of salt. To me, this smells like a spicy vanilla. The spices in this are bright and very prominent. So when I smell it, I feel like I can pick out something like bay leaf or basil, those type of Italian type spices. But then it's mixed with this beautiful spicy vanilla. Again, not a cupcakey vanilla, but there is a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's mainly like a dry kind of incense -y vanilla. Gorgeous, definitely wears extremely well. And I cannot wait to actually start back wearing this because I definitely think this is too spicy and too prominent to wear when it's warm. But in the cold, like this cuts through, like this cuts through whatever you're wearing. People are gonna smell it on you and you're gonna smell it on you. It's one of those fragrances that to me gives me that cloud of fragrance where I just feel very enveloped by it. So again, that is Zerjoff Ivory Root. This next fragrance I've only worn once, but now that it's getting cold, I cannot wait to put this all over my body. So this is Zerjoff Symphonium. This is a beautiful orange chocolate scent. I believe there's also some oud in this fragrance. I've only worn this once, and I have to say that whatever type of oud is in this, and I think there's two different types, but whatever type of oud is in this, it blends so well. The chocolate just smells so freaking expensive, luxurious. And the orange is a little sweet. It's a little bit tart, but it's not too much. Sometimes orange and chocolate could go wrong, in my opinion. Orange specifically can smell like bathroom cleaner to me. I don't know why, but it can smell very chemically. This is done to perfection. The blend is just outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. I cannot wait to wear this out on a cold day, y'all. It smells so yummy, but still smells really sophisticated. And I think they, they knocked this one out of the park. So again, that is Zerjoff Symphonium. This next fragrance is from Jo Malone, and this is Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. So this is a very interesting vanilla in my opinion. The vanilla in this is not really sweet. It's kind of more of a drier vanilla. It's kind of more of a drier vanilla, and then that vanilla is combined with vetiver. And the vetiver in this smells quite grassy and green. Very good though. It is interesting. It's not for everybody, but it is one that I absolutely love. Performs really well, especially in the cold weather. And for some reason, I feel like this feels like a little bit too deep to wear when it's warmer. So I cannot wait to actually wear this when it gets cold. It's beautiful and unique. And it's one that I really like to wear out, like not necessarily out at night, but like out of the house because it has a bit of a coldness to it, which I think is different for a vanilla fragrance, but I still absolutely love it. So again, that is Vetiver and Golden Vanilla by Jo Malone. So technically that was my top 10. I do have a bonus to share with you all and I'll tell you why it's a bonus once we get into it. So this is none other than Dior Feb Delicious. Now, the reason that I say that this is a bonus is if you watch my videos, you probably know this is one of my top 10 fragrances, period. <laughs> so I wear this year round. You can see my dent, right? I mean, I know it probably doesn't look like a lot to some of you all, but I feel like that is quite a dent especially considering the way I wear this. So I wear this year round. I probably wear this fragrance at least once every two weeks, but only to bed. So I'm looking forward to wearing this fragrance out in the light of day, y'all. I cannot wait to actually put this thing on and go outside because I can't do that. This is a beautiful Tonka scent. The Tonka in this is quite prominent. It's a little bit powdery, it's a little bit sweet. It has some like cherry in this as well that gives it a little bit of sweetness, but I definitely think Tonka is the uh, most prominent note in this fragrance. There's also some lavender in this fragrance, which gives it a little bit of an aromatic opening, which I know turns some women off from this fragrance because they think it leans a little masculine. But to me, it just gives this fragrance a lift. It doesn't feel so weighed down, although it is a heavy, thick fragrance. This is one that I just can't get enough of, y'all. I cannot get enough of, and that's why I wear it year round to bed, but she deserves to see the light of day, y'all. I cannot wait to like wear this out. Everybody around me, I'm sure, will thank me when I do, but like, I cannot wait to take her outside. <laughs> it's 2022, we outside. <laughs> anyway, that was corny, I know, got it. I got it, I know it's corny, okay? I'm corny. Anyway. Dior Privé Feb Delicious. 
So those were the fragrances that I am most excited to wear this winter. If you've tried any of the fragrances, let us know what you think of them in the comments down below. And if you would, name your number one fragrance that you are saving for a cold day that you cannot wait to wear. On this channel, we all like to share, so definitely leave that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bells on. I upload videos three times a week and during the month of December, it's actually four times a week. So I have plenty of content that you all can peruse in your free time. If you're not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I love to chit chat with you guys in my DMs and in my stories and we keep it real relaxed on Instagram. So check me out. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.